Greetings everyone and welcome back to the Lair of Centipedes. And today we have a few new additions that I feel are definitely worth showing off. Now what I have inside this mesh enclosure are some more katydids. And yes, I have been getting rather into katydids lately. They are a very fascinating group of insects. And obviously, I can't exactly get the best view of them from out here. So of course that means I'm going to get a couple of them out for you. Now there's four of them in here, two of which are a little bit small. So I'm just going to be getting the two large ones out. We'll start with this guy right here. I say guy, I don't actually know what they are at this age. And there we go. That's, that's two of them. Now we're going to give them a, a better look soon. I'm just going to get the enclosure out of the way. So, these amazing looking insects are Fricta spinosa, sometimes known as the spiny tree katydid. Now, the spiny part of the name is not something I think I have to explain. Tree katydid uh, should also be something you can figure out pretty easily. These animals, they dwell on tree trunks in the wild, and their coloration allows them to blend in excellently with the moss and lichen that covers many tree trunks in their rainforest habitat. And as perfectly demonstrated by this one here, they often lie flat against the surface that they're resting on, which makes them even harder to notice as their shadow is less easily seen. And their spikes, which are great for repelling a predator, are also very good at breaking up their outline as well. Obviously, the camouflage is of limited effectiveness on the surface of my hand, however. Now, while both of these katydids are a pretty respectable size, neither of them are adults. In fact, I don't think either of them are even particularly close to adulthood, to be honest. This one here, the bigger of the two, does have wing buds. If you look very closely, they're just a bit in front of the rear leg, but they are not very large at all. So I'm guessing it's got at least a couple more molts until it reaches adulthood. And then as for this one, uh, oh yeah, I can just make out the wing buds. They're even less developed on this individual. I have the feeling that this one might be maybe one molt behind the other. Now like the other katydids I have featured on this channel, these are predominantly herbivores, and this species at least appears to be a bit more uh, generalistic compared to the other ones I've featured. Like Epipetitha triginta duogatata, for instance, seems to feed almost exclusively on gum leaves, whereas these ones, they'll feed on quite a wide variety of different plant foliage. You're really not moving around much, which means... I mean, on one hand, it's great because it's easy to focus. On the other hand, do something for goodness sake. No? Well, at least it means they're relaxed. This one in particular seems very at home. Didn't realize my hand was that comfortable. Now, another thing is I had actually planned for this week's upload to be my 5,000 subscriber special because in case you aren't aware, I hit 5,000 subscribers. So thank you all very much for that. That's a pretty significant milestone. But due to assessment, the video that I was working on for 5K is a bit behind schedule. I've done all the illustrations, those are those spider ones that I have been posting recently. Uh, now all I really need to do is, um, well, basically everything else. That being said, it should be out by next week, and if not, then definitely the week after. But as you probably understand, well, a uni assessment definitely takes priority. Anyway, I think that's all I have time for, and as the katydids don't seem to be keen on doing anything particularly exciting, not that they need to, they look bloody cool after all, 
I don't think this video needs to go on much longer. So, yep, thank you all very much for watching this uh, admittedly rather short but hopefully interesting upload. If you enjoy my content, then don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Thank you all very much for watching. That's it from me, and I'll see you again very soon, hopefully, with my 5,000 subscriber special.